Dave Palumbo here with an I told you so rant. That's right. Kevin Lavroni, when he made the announcement back at the Pittsburgh Pro back in May of this year and said he was coming back to the Olympia, I warned everyone. I warned everyone. I said, you guys don't know Kevin Lavroni like I do. This guy's body responds so fast uh, that it'll blow your mind. Uh, I saw it back in 1996 when I helped him for the Arnold Classic 20 years ago. Can you believe it was 20 years ago? This guy went from 12 weeks out from nothing to six weeks out. He looked like you know the greatest bodybuilder of all time to obviously six weeks later at the show. He won and beat Flex Wheeler in one of the best Arnold Classic uh, battles of all time. Uh, now he's 52 years old. People think that his comeback is a joke. He's not going to be able to even play his top six. I made the bold prediction that Kevin Lavroni would win the Olympia. And Lonnie Teeper told me if that ever came true, that it would be the greatest prediction in all of bodybuilding. And I guess I would take over the title of Swami from him. Well, I'm not backing down from that prediction, although I do believe there's a lot of other quality competitors in that lineup, and I wouldn't take away from them for a second. Lavroni is a scary competitor because you don't know what to expect from him. Uh, a couple days ago on Instagram, he, they put up a comparison. Uh, you can look it up on the screen. Kevin Lavroni from 97 uh, with Kevin Lavroni from uh, 2016. Once again, 20 years later. And as you can see, his body is just exploding. Now, we hadn't seen anything or heard anything from Kevin for two weeks. Even I was on uh, blackout with him. I haven't heard anything. And then all of a sudden, this picture goes up. Now, I told you. I warned everyone. I said, this guy is coming, and he's only going to get better and better every week. Everyone thought at six weeks out when they saw the pictures, they're like, well, he looks good. He's hard and everything like that, but he doesn't have the mass. If you look two weeks later, look at – if you can, if Johnny can find a picture from two weeks ago and now what he looks like, the transformation is, is amazing. He's put on at least five to seven pounds of muscle. And I know for any other human being that's impossible – not Lavroni. He's coming for you guys. And everyone in that top six better start getting real nervous because he's getting better and better. And I told you, at six weeks out, you, that's nothing. Most guys are, are, are just lucky to get in shape at six weeks out. He will grow into that show at, a, at an alarming rate, at a rate that will boggle people's minds and blow their blow their beliefs about what bodybuilding is. And, of course, every guy out there is going to want to know what he's taking, what he's eating, what he's doing. It's nothing. It's just Kevin Lavroni training hardcore at the gym, heavy waist, banging it out every day, getting his meals in, and, and using the supplements. There's nothing special about it. It's just Kevin Lavroni's body. When he puts his mind to something, he could make things happen in his physique that the average mortal man just can't do. And that's why in 96, when I went out there and he took his shirt off, I was 318 pounds at the time. It was the biggest I had been. He took his shirt off, and I said to myself, you know what? I'll never beat this guy. I can never be this good. And that was and, and that was at the top of my, you know, I was so confident in myself. I was so big. No one was bigger than me at the time. I just saw that genetics that he had and, and the ability of his body to just grow and explode and his structure and shape. And you know what? In person, it, it, it's even more impressive uh, to see that shoulder, tricep, you know, development he's got and, and just the way he's put together. He's dangerous. He's very dangerous. And I'll stick by my prediction of Kevin Lavroni winning the 2016 Olympia. As controversial and as wacky as it may seem, I believe in the guy. Uh, the only thing we haven't seen so far is leg shots, okay? And, I, and, and a lot of people would say, well, Kevin's not showing us the legs because they're not good. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I believe Kevin's pulling, playing possum with us. And when those legs do come out, people are going to be blown. Because his genetics for his legs are probably better than his genetics for his upper body. If you saw his legs back in the day, they were by far his best body part. Uh, he stopped training him hard by his own admission because he felt like, well, he was never going to win the Olympia. Why, why kill himself in the gym? Now he's got something to prove because everyone thinks he can't do it. And a, and, and a mad and, and motivated Kevin Lavroni is a super dangerous Kevin Lavroni. Because he's laying it all on the line, something he's never done before. Probably hasn't done it since 1998, when he had that when Col when uh, Dorian Yates retired, uh, and and everyone was going for that open vacant seat at the Olympia. Everyone put 100 percent into the into the pie. That's when Ronnie Coleman came in and wowed the world and beat Flex Wheeler. 
I got news for you. Lavroni was awesome at that show. He was a little off. He could have been a little drier. And in, in the weeks after the Olympia, he did dry out, and he wound up winning a lot of those Grand Prix in spectacular fashion. I believe that was the year he won uh, Russia and went home with 100 grand cash in a, in, in a paper bag, basically, they gave it to him. So this is a dangerous guy. I don't care what his age is. Any other person, I would, I'd say no way. Lavroni's for real. He's getting better and better every week. And uh, I think we're going to see more and more pictures. If you can tell, he's lifting the super heavy weights. He's not doing these pump workouts like some of these guys are doing. He is all in. And you know what? I'm sticking to my prediction. Lavroni for the win in 2016 at their Mr. Olympia. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle exclusive rant.